uh, I had a great time directing this uh, because I was uh, surrounded by uh, Jessica. I was going to get there. I was going to get there all on my own by first-rate people who were phenomenal, led by Jessica. There was just something very special about this story that I wanted to protect. And it was that uh, after all the flashy stuff, after the glamour and the decadence, the money and the poker and the big Hollywood bold-faced names, it's actually uh, a, a very... Uh, inspirational, emotional story about this one person. You, you're not going to expect to, but, but you'll leave the theater with a lump in your throat uh, uh, and goosebumps. Reading the book was also um, met with Googling Molly and watching interviews of Molly. So yeah, I will say that I actually had a preconceived idea of who she was. I didn't understand what her intentions were um, in doing all of this. And then when I met her, I realized how wrong I had been to judge her. Uh, I think society has this tendency to um, celebrate women for their sexual desirability and then the media completely destroy them afterwards. And I think that was what was happening with Molly. Um, so I felt actually a bit, I was a bit ashamed of myself to have judged her. Um, I, I really admire her and I, I was so proud to share her story with everyone. I made it clear to her that she would not have any input uh, uh, into the writing of it, that she would not have uh, veto power. Uh, she, uh, on the other hand, had enormous influence uh, over it because she was my only research source. Uh, ordinarily, if I'm writing nonfiction, I am talking to dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of people, reading all kinds of documents and anything that's uh, available. To, uh, to, to try to become an expert as quickly as I can in, in a particular subject. In this case, all there was uh, was Molly. Uh, so all I had was her telling me her story and then me asking questions, a lot of which she hadn't been asked before. Oh, I love doing the long dialogue scenes. I mean, that's why I've always wanted to work with Aaron because I don't think there's any um, screen, well, I know there's not another screenwriter who can write dialogue the way that he does. Um, but also, too, there was a way we shot that felt like a play, you know? When you show up to rehearse a 10-page scene in the morning and every, all the crew sits around and with their donuts and their coffees on the floor of watching, you feel like you're back in drama school. And the wonderful thing about working with Aaron is when we shot those scenes, he would shoot them in their entirety. Um, there wasn't very many times we would do a camera angle just for a, a moment. For the most part, um, like I said, it w it felt like being in the theater, um, which we both actually started in. So it was a, a a great joy for me to work that way. Who wants to look, you know, simple when you can look stunning? I'm really sorry. We're very drunk, but we don't give a. Hey, girl. Hey, no. She, she ain't hear me. She ain't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you 